I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and today we actually have a viewer suggestion. Behind me, I have my Ford Ranger that I bought for the second Cheap Truck Challenge, and I suspect that it has a head gasket leak. One of the viewers suggested that I try out the Blue Devil head gasket sealant, and so I thought I'd give it a try today. If it doesn't work, it shouldn't have done any harm. So I did buy the Blue Devil radiator flush. I'm going to flush the coolant system out with this first. And then we'll move on to the Blue Devil head gasket sealer. We'll run this through the engine and see if it can seal up this head gasket leak. First, we need to drain the coolant system of any water or antifreeze that's in it right now. Remember, dispose of any used antifreeze per your local laws. Then I'm going to fill the coolant system with water and the radiator flush. I'll let that circulate for a little bit. Then I'm going to drain the radiator flush out, refill the coolant system halfway with water, put the head gasket sealer in, fill the rest of the way with water, and then run the engine, it says, for 15 minutes at idle. We could go and take off the lower radiator hose every time we are flushing the system, but I would like to continuously circulate water through this for a little bit. And so I'm going to cut one of the heater hoses, and then when I want to put the heater hose back together, I'll just put a coupler in there with some hose clamps. That way I can hook a garden hose to the engine and continuously run water through it. And every time I want to circulate a different fluid through, it'll make it really easy to just pop open the heater hose and drain it there. I'll start it up, show you why I think it has a head gasket leak. When running, there's white smoke coming out of the exhaust. So actually it looks like it won't be too bad to pull the heater hose off so i'll pull that one the other hose comes right from the pump now with that heater hose off and my coolant drained i can put on my spillless funnel it just attaches here to where the radiator cap goes I can put my garden hose into the funnel so that we have a constant source of water. And then I'll start the engine to circulate this through. Now with the engine running, we have water spraying out over there, being pumped out by the water pump. Maybe I should have cut the hose because then it would be a lot more controlled than it is right now. They also make T attachments so that you can connect your garden hose straight up to the heater hose and circulate the water through that way. I'll just let this run for a little bit, make sure that we circulated water well through the whole system, and hopefully it got any chunks that might be in there out. It's been running for about five minutes now. I'm going to take the water away. And it will continually pump the water out of the radiator because I want to make room to put the radiator cleaner in there. Now I need to connect the heater hose back up so that the radiator flush can circulate through everything and clean it out. I'm going to dump in the Blue Devil radiator flush. Now I'm going to refill the radiator with water, put the radiator cap back on, and it says that they want you to run it for 10 minutes with the radiator flush in there. Put the radiator cap back on. Now run it for 10 minutes. I will admit I'm halfway surprised that it's still running after idling for 10 minutes. We still have our head gasket leak. Now let's try to fix it. Once your engine has cooled down, open your radiator cap, drain out the fluid again so we can put fresh water in. I've completely flushed out the radiator flush now. The coolant system is empty again. So now I need to reconnect my heater hose and then I can add the stop leak and some more water. The hose is completely secured again. You want to make sure that you don't have any leaks this time because you don't want the stop leak to come out of the cooling system, except for in the areas where your leak is so it can seal it up. As far as I understand, this stuff only seals when it has the temperature that's created in the combustion chamber. So this stuff shouldn't be clogging up your radiator or anything like that. So this should be completely safe to put into the engine once your head gasket is sealed back up, I would drain the coolant system, refill with antifreeze, and get whatever is left of this out. Let's put it in, see if it works. I'm going to have my water at a slow trickle. 
and I'll slowly pour in the head gasket sealant with the water. Now that the air has been bled out, I'm going to take my funnel off and replace it with the radiator cap. Let the engine run for 50 minutes, if it will. It's been about 10 minutes now, and so far there's no change, but that's to be expected. The head gasket leak here is probably too big to seal up anyways. But let's see what happens. It's been running for half an hour now, still smoking. Instructions say 50 minutes, so I'm going to give it the full 50 minutes. It's been well over 50 minutes now. I don't see any change. I'm just surprised that it's been running this long. Let's rev the engine up and get the water out of the exhaust. Well, it looks like the only thing we accomplished today was to fill my exhaust full of water. Does the Blue Devil head gasket sealer work? Possibly in some cases. I would say don't expect this to work the majority of the time. It will probably only work on very small leaks. And if I ever do take the heads off this engine, it'll be interesting to see if we can see any remnants of the Blue Devil in there and what it has caused to happen inside the engine. That's it for today, and if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.